Good morning, traders. Douglas here. Another day of working on our Algo Box game. Now, to get right to it, at the top right, you have a harmonic pattern. This is a big shark. Down here at the bottom right, you have a harmonic pattern. This is another shark. So, we got two sharks on two different time frames. And then over here to the left on our MACV chart, uh, we're entering into the highs of the day. So even though MACV is green right now, even though that we have been going up all morning long, uh, retesting this high with these patterns here and these crosses coming in, I felt like this was a good opportunity to scout Order short. Filled. Um, we're not looking for a giant move at this point in time because we're going against the trend. So we got to manage our risk properly. I got behind this little yellow line here is a potential um, potential zone of resistance. So I'm going to take my first target off there. If you're hearing the clicks and the booms, the clicks are uh, audio box. So a whole nother feature uh, to Algo Box. If you're new here, uh, it's adding the uh, audio into the visual to help you okay so the clicks are buyers coming in these are aggressive buyers of a certain size and the booms are aggressive sellers of a certain size so if you're going short what you want to hear is more booms than clicks right and if you're going long you want to hear more clicks than booms that's kind of the idea so we'll see this trade work out shortly here Fib dot Nasdaq on the MACV. Target filled. There you go. There's our first target. We're headed into that potential zone of resistance. Harmonic pattern. Uh, we're Not getting short. this big Look delta dump going on down here. So at this point in time, I'm feeling that uh, after this dump, that we might that might be delta um, buy building the energy necessary to go back up and retest or break those highs. So I'm worried Board about price coming filled. back, so I end up closing out. Now we do go down another leg uh, here, so I definitely uh, closed out a bit early. It's hard to get things exactly perfect in trading, of course. So we come down. And really, at this point in time, I'm looking for a long because I want to get back on the side of momentum. So I'm looking for a long. I think that after this delta dump, that could be the setup that we need. We can get this tempting uh, little red dot that comes in that says, hey, maybe I'm going to continue going short. But because uh, we went against the MACV, because we went against the flow of the day, I'm not real tempted to take that now after that headshot came in uh, that was even more tempting so I've got my finger over the sell button um, if something just screams at me uh, at this point in time I would go short but I'm still thinking long I'm still looking for that long setup then that green dot comes in you see how quickly I hit the buy button because now we've got a green headshot uh, so uh, I really want to get back and retest those highs of the day So let's see this trade work out here. Now we got another green dot. So I'm feeling pretty good at this point in time. Things are looking in my favor move my uh, first target a little bit closer and I really don't want to see price come back I wanted to see it just go up and do its thing um, if you look at the top left at the MACV there is a red dot up there at the very high of the day so I mean that's in my mind um, I was still biased long for sure Short. Look for We've seen those little lags. Uh, 
we get those sometimes or not we i get those sometimes because i trade from work i don't get to choose the computer that i have so right now i'm working on getting a setup at uh at home and i'll probably just remote into uh, my computer at home so i don't have to worry about uh, some of these issues because there's nothing i can do about that i trade from the office when i can um it's kind of one of the reasons why i'm testing out algo box is because uh, I can't wait all day for setups because I literally get phone calls, I get walk-ins, I get uh, trucks pulling in. Um, I'm basically I'm a part owner and manager of a distribution company, and uh, there's nothing I can do about just concentrating hard on trading. So uh, those are some of my limitations, but everybody's got their excuses. So then we get a green dot comes in. We've got uh, double crosses come in. Uh, it's not exactly headshots, but Order close enough for me, I guess. And Good because dog. I was biased yeah, long, I was really just looking for any excuse to get back long here. And this Nasdaq trade is going to take a little bit of its time, but if you look at the top right, we've got triple uh, green dots now. So this is really, uh, really what I want to see. And again, I'm feeling pretty good about the potential here. MACV did, um, it's got a little bit of red going on there, so the tide might be turning on me. We're moving into some potential resistance there. If you see those little uh, lines down there Harmonic on pattern. the uh, bottom right the chart. And so then Target it forms a filled. harmonic pattern. I decide to take off some risk uh, because that's potential resistance. We get a cross inside that harmonic pattern. Now things aren't looking uh, as good as they were before but I'm not too concerned at this point in time. I'm just ready to uh, exit if I need to. Once we get that second Order cross come filled. in, that's a double cross, but this is not, uh, in my opinion, uh, a setup for a double cross, double move. I was thinking more of that's what's going to wreck me. So I got out. Uh, and it would have wrecked me, so that's good. Order filled. And I got out. But then if you come over here and you look at the top left at the MACV chart, you'll see a blue power dot comes in. Again, I've been looking for excuses to go long. Um, when the uh, blue power dot came in, I was ready with my finger over the button, and then that uh, cross came in and price started moving. So I thought, okay, okay, this is what I've been looking for. This is the power that I need. So we go long again. Move it up. Once again, feeling good about life. Target long. Look for a long. Get my first target. Fib dot. Nasdaq. Get that on the red dot. Or order filled. Didn't want to see that red dot. Fib dot. Price Nasdaq has been slow and choppy all day even though i've been looking for those longs to retest those highs so i went ahead and got out there and then a green dot came in immediately afterwards which could be a place where i could have added on to or got back into but even though i was biased long like i said it's it's been kind of slow and choppy so uh, my targets uh, <laughs> we haven't made it to a second target all day we haven't even got close to one of my second targets so uh, I went ahead and got out and of course that's the time when it does move further 
but that's okay. And then we'll just watch uh, the end of this play out. I'm done. I've got 545 uh, in profit here on, you know, not a whole lot of movement. Um, and like I was saying earlier, because I'm busy and distracted all the time, um, I have to be able to take advantage of these sort of smaller moves that I wouldn't have been able to take advantage of before. And once again, that's why I'm working on algo box and trying to get better with this. Uh, Cause I just would not be able to see this on the standard, uh, standard hey strategies and charts, uh, taking advantage of kind of this, this chop action and these smaller moves. Uh, so you get a headshot right there. Um, that probably was a pretty good place to go. I was pretty tempted, even though I was done uh, trading because uh, there's some booms that come in here and uh, I really probably should have uh, gone ahead and got on that one and we'll just watch this play out but I let it go short. Short. and then there it goes so that would have been kind of an easy one there but say lobby that's it, I'm out.